Welcome back to Mr. Speller's Math Tutorials. Today we're tasked with finding the angle of theta using the inverse functions of sine, cosine, and tangent. And we're going to use the uh, TI uh, Inspire uh, to help us find those answers. All right, let's get started. We're going to begin by using uh, the function sine and using the relationship created by sine. Well, that relationship um, in reference to theta here, so if I'm taking sine of theta, I know that sine is going to be the opposite side, which is 10 over the hypotenuse. So you have 10 over 5 root 5. Uh, normally, we would do some simplification, but we're going, to use a, um, we're going to use a calculator here to help us, so I'm not going to bother with doing the simplification. Well, to find the angle theta, we need to take the arc sine of both sides of this equation. So we're going to take the arc sine here. So ARC sine, arc sine is the function of sine theta. And we're setting that equal to the arc sine of 10 over 5, 10 over 5 root 5. On the left-hand side here, these are inverse functions, so they're going to cancel each other out or undo each other. And on the right-hand side, I have, I'm left with the arc sine of 10 over 5 root 5. And as I said earlier, we're going to use the TI Inspire to uh, help us come up with that answer. So here in the Inspire, we're going to type in arc sine. So A R C sine. All right, we know that it's going to be a, a fraction, so we're going to hit the control key, press the division key to get to this um, fraction template. And we said that's going to be 10 over 5 root 5, so we're going to enter 10 in our numerator, arrow down to our denominator, and then that's 5. We need to get to the square root, so that's control, and then the square button, root 5. And we're going to go ahead and press uh, control, and then we want the approximation. And here we see that's approximately uh, 63.4 degrees. And again, I know I'm in degrees because I see um, degrees here. If you weren't in degrees, you uh, can click on the gear. And when you go to, I believe it's document settings, and you can change the um, change it from, from degrees to radians or gradients. But here we're using uh, degrees. So let's just cancel out of that. All right, so let's go back. And that's uh, 63.4 degrees. So that's what, uh, that's what we found theta is equal to. All right, now let's work with um, cosine. And again, all these um, trig functions are, we're working on the same angle, so we should get the same answer each time. We're just showing that we can use the different relationships to, to get to that answer. So here we're going to take the cosine of theta. Well, the relationship with cosine is going to be the adjacent side, which is 5 over the hypotenuse, which is 5 root 5. Again, we need to take the inverse function, which is the arc cosine. And we're going to do that to both sides. Oops, let's move this down kind of right and sideways. So that was root 5. We want um, arc cosine of cosine theta on the left. And we want arc cosine of 5 over 5 root 5 on the right hand side the inverse functions undo each other and then we're left with the arc cosine of 5 over 5 root 5 all right and let's go back to um, the inspire to get that answer so um, I want to show two things I could I could press press the trig button and get to the uh, arc cosine with that notation but let's go ahead and type it out again so we have arc cosine and place our parentheses in here and we said that was 5 over 5 root 5 so again we're going to use the um, the fraction template numerator 5 arrow down and then we want 5 root 5 as our denominator and again we want control and we want the um, approximation and again we come up with the 63 um, and four tenths degrees. So, so far so good. And let's uh, round this off by doing um, tangent. So tangent of theta, well, the relationship for tangent is going to be the opposite over the adjacent so that there's going to be 10 over five. We're going to take the arc tangent of both sides. So arc tangent of tangent theta and the arc tangent 
again of 10 over 5. They undo each other to give us theta. And then we have the arctan of 10 fifths. All right, so let's place this in. So I'm gonna type this, I'm gonna type this now on the keyboard, arctan. And I want, what was it? It was 10 divided by five. So control fraction template, 10 divided by five. And then I want control and then approximation. And again, you see that we come out with 63 and four tenths degrees. So here we've shown uh, three different um, inverse functions uh, using the uh, TI Inspire to help us get, help us come to the um, measures for angle theta. Hope you found this uh, tutorial. If you like it, please like it. And as always, thank you for watching.